science works with the left brain hemisphere, through Mercury, trying to lay a puzzle with the intention to find the center of its own consciousness, the truth inside of its own artifact. Always seeking themselves through focusing outside. Always thinking they have found the truth and now owns and dominates something by assigning names, based on category, and put into adequate boxes of mind. The map will never become reality. Scientists never realize that the truth is inside. The ones responsible for the engineering of our society knows. The truth is not conceptual, and this whole dimension of error is just an artifact. Scientists are demanded to, and believe to, lift themselves in their own hair to express something chemically clean from any subject, which is achieved by referring to other external sources slash previous works, in an infinite regress and endless loop. In this way they manage to externalize any holistic aspects, Jupiterian energies, and kick the can further down the road in the quest for seeking the truth. With the exclusion of the holistic slash Jupiter, we will never see the forest, only the trees. What science and academia is occupied with is a constant division of a previous expression, with the goal to find the center of it, by excluding the inner from the equation. Academia and science forbid you to work with your right brain hemisphere, according to theoretical philosophy interpretations belongs to a rudimentary part of science called psychologism. Any holistic approach doctor will get into serious problems, because pharmacia has its root in old Babylon. Hospitals and doctors are key ingredients in the control of the human chicken farm. All health-related studies must be gained through the discipline of natural sciences, which means physics, and other rational and objective methods. Objective means dead, since it's static, have no flow, no change, but only rocks are somehow static over longer periods of time, the living are best described as a flow, more a verb than a noun. The truth is to be found through interpretation, which is a holistic attitude to knowledge. It is gained with the help of Jupiter, wisdom, right brain hemisphere, intuition which speaks to you once you allow it. It can only be reached by being receptive, feminine and passive energy, air is active and grabs for control while Jupiter is flow. Nietzsche once wrote ponder the case of knowledge being feminine, it is no wonder that science never managed to catch her attention. Hint, the masculine energy of air is stupid and hard, it may in best case be seen by the feminine, which then decides to come to him, if she considers him worthy. Remember, consciousness seeks consciousness, while structure seeks structure. Structure is equal to pattern, compare with the word pater, which means father. Consciousness is beautiful and subtle, it is the water, while structure slash air is strong and hard, this is no guesswork by me. It is blatantly obvious, and expressed with the help of a few and simple words. Saturn cult has split our minds, and had us believe in a fabricated reality, where everything is upside down and inside out. Science works, but it consists of the perspective air versus earth. Its linear and logical attitude does not work if applied in a holistic approach, since our world is magical, not logical. In magic the structures are projected by the masculine elements fire and air, the last one rules with force, it is the strong and hard that carries the fire as a vessel. The feminine elements water and earth absorbs these structures. Earth element is the physical manifestation, the last and the most dense and hard of the elements. As I see it the elements contains each other like Russian dolls, in the order, fire, air, water, earth. Air and earth are vertical and structured, functions as vessels for fire and water, which are liquid slash potential. To understand an holistic view of reality a cyclical method is essential, and for you to find your truth, you'll have to learn how to listen to your Jupiter, to formulate your inner questions with your left brain hemisphere, and stay silent in meditation, sleep, or any activity that totally absorbs you to the level where your air becomes still, and from there receive the answers from within.